And we are live. Hello, live wires. Heather Boyd Wire here, Wire Lady TV, every Wednesday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And we are on time for once. Hallelujah. That never happens. So today I am going to continue. Last week I did the pizza uh, slice and the sandwich uh, designs for the food designs and I had a special request from Jamie for the food so these are the sketches that I did and hi Amber how are you and then she actually followed up and asked me if I could do some ramen noodles so that's what we're working on today and without further ado I will flip the screen and we will get going so just bear with me while I flip the screen we're going to do this bring that one around and then I'm going to have to bring it a little closer. We're just going to have to adjust this a little bit. Bear with me here. It's a coming. Bring this one over here. Okay. And hopefully that's, we have enough showing here. I'm going to move this one back. Move this here. I'm going to get this one a little bit further. There we go. And at some point I might have to skip out for five minutes. I'm waiting for a phone call about our car. It's in the shop. So if that happens, I'll just put the uh, templates on the screen so you guys can see them. So yeah, so Jamie asked if I could do some ramen noodles. So I've done some sketches uh, last week. And then I am going to go with something like this. I thought this would this was a graphic I saw on Canva. And then this would be cute too. And then this is the Chinese uh, word or character for uh, noodles. So we'll see what we can do today. I thought to start, I have this cool gadget from Artistic Wire that I'm going to try to do the little crinkle for those. And oh, I meant to get, I had some long beads that I was going to use for the chopsticks. So I meant to prep that in advance. We're going to see what we can do. So what I'm going to do now is let's just start with the crinkle for the noodles. I'm going to try three different ways to make noodles. So we're going to figure that out. I probably could have brought this camera a little bit closer, but we're just going to go with it like this today and see how it works. And ramen is delicious. I never eat it actually. I don't even know. I don't even know what it's like. So, um, I mean, I've had that type of noodles before, but not, not for years. I mean, I think in university I had that stuff, but I haven't had that stuff for years. So let's get some gold color 22 gauge wire to try this little gadget with. And I haven't used this gadget for a while, so we're going to try it and see how it goes. So we'll cut about 12 inches of the wire and try the crinkle thing. And then we'll also try some other ways to do it. So we're just going to take this and slide it through. Okay. And how does that work? I haven't used this in a while. Let me just straighten that out a bit. So we're going to stick that one through the hole. And that goes through here. And then we just, whoops, that's not right. We go that way. Gosh, I haven't used this in a little while. So we're going to bring this one in here. And maybe I'll bring it the other direction facing me. It might be easier. I haven't used this in a long time. I have a tutorial using the crinkle tool. So there we go. We just get it in there. Oh, that looks very ramen -y. There we go. So this... And it's super fast, so we're going to do this. We're just twisting it, and it creates the crinkle. So how cool and fast is that? That's amazing. So we've got that. Now, uh, if you don't have that tool, you can do it another way. So we can get our a wire, and you can just get your pliers or your looping pliers or your regular pliers. So we have... These are the beetle on looping, looping pliers. And then we're just going to, what you can do is just, I'm just trying to think, maybe just regular round nose pliers might be better because see, these are two different sizes. So let's just get some regular round nose pliers. Okay. Hi, Corey. Nice to see you. And I'm going to take these and that might be easier if you just, because that way you can, Maybe go back and forth like that. So it's the same idea as the crinkle, but you can just use the end of your pliers like that. Okay, so you could do it either way. If you don't have the crinkle tool, you can use the pliers. And then the other way I thought we could do them, I'm just gonna leave that one like that for now. 
So the other way you can do it is you just take this wire and then we're gonna get a piece of 16 gauge wire, which I have some on my floor here. So I use a lot of this one for my work. So we've got a piece of the 16 gauge wire here. And then we are going to take this we're just doing our warm up for our ramen noodles. We're going to take this and then you can coil it. So I don't know how close together you want to make your coil. We're just going to go up around like this and we'll make our coil and we'll see how this is going to work. This was, uh, I had an idea in my head of three ways we can make the ramen noodles. So we're going to see if that's which one looks better. So if we're going to coil it like that, and so we just have, so if you could coil it like that, we're going to remove this, but we don't want it to look quite like that. So we're going to stretch it. Oh, there goes something. So we're going to hold that there and hold this one here and stretch it. Oh, it got, I pulled it a little too much though. Okay, so that's good to know. I pulled that one a little bit too much. Let's keep that one. Let's try something else. What if we put our, coils closer together okay so that one I pulled a little bit too much so these are the three different so far three different ways to do it so let's bring this one here and coil it a little tighter there let's just coil it like see how it works if we coil it more tightly okay that might work better sometimes you you think you know how things are going to turn out and then when it actually comes down to it, we don't know how it's going to actually turn out. So we're going to see. We're going to go around and around, whoopee, and around here. Just coil it around, doing a more tight coil here. And then I'm going to be careful when I stretch it not to stretch it too much. Okay. So there, we've done a more tight coil this time, if you can see. And we'll remove that and take the ends, the flat pliers here, and we will uncoil it. So that's cool too. I actually like that. I like that a lot. So that's how it would look like that. So you guys let me know what you think. I guess it depends on which design we do, but there's those two ideas for the ramen noodles. Those are awesome. And you know what I'm going to do is, let's do this. Let's do a little bit more of this one. Okay. And then I'll take a picture so I have it. It's always good to have like a little, a little picture. So we're going to go like that. This is with the medium size pliers. Okay. So we've got that. So that's with this size pliers and then we can get find, find it oh those are the ones that fell on the floor okay so these are my little round ones that i love from pascal back in the day if anybody's from quebec and remembers pascal when i first moved to montreal there was like nowhere to buy jewelry supplies that was in 1989 so these I got at a hardware store so it's a little tedious you can see doing it this way but it works it's funny with the little pliers it gets a little twisty but we can deal with that so let's just deal with that we'll get to flatten it a bit Pascal you remember Pascal did they have them in Ontario I don't remember seeing them in Ontario, but they definitely had them in Montreal. So there we go. Okay, perfect. So here's with the small part of the, the smaller round nose pliers and those ones. So let's just take a picture of this. So we have it, we can get them to sit flat. Okay, so we've got this. I'm gonna clip the end of that one. And then this one, which is the crinkle tool. And then this one, which I pulled a little bit too much. Okay, I pulled that one a little bit too much. It's not gonna be easy to take a picture, but we're gonna try here. And then that one, 
this is the spring, which is cool too. I like that. Yeah, there we go. Let's just get that one. See, this one got a little twisty, but it's not too bad. Okay, so I'll take a picture with my iPad because I'm actually filming on my phone. So let's do that. We'll just take a picture. Okay, there. Perfect. Okay, that's good. Now let us uh, Ottawa had them. Interesting. I do not remember that. Maybe I didn't shop at hardware stores when I lived in Ottawa. I grew up there, but I left when I was 18. So I didn't go to hardware stores before that. So now what are we going to do? Oh, here, let's just put these here for a second. I'm going to just look to see if I can find those beads I was talking about. Um, yeah, if I could get through here, I won't be lost. I just have to look for some bugle beads, but I'm not even sure if I have them in this drawer. So I'm just going to look for the bugle beads. And if I don't have them, I'm going to have to go into the other room because... I should have prepped that in advance. I didn't think about it. And now I'm not sure. Oh, I found them. Okay. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah. Is that? No. That's not them. No, I didn't find them. I thought I found them. But I might have to go in the other room because I don't think I have them here. This is no, no. This. No. No. Okay. No. Okay. No. Okay, guys. I'm just going to go in the other room and find those beads, and I'll be right back. I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay, so I found my bugle beads and also some toothpicks that might work. So uh, there we go. Okay, perfect. Miraville Road. I remember Miraville Road. Yeah. Okay, doke. So now we have these are short bugle beads. We don't need those, but we do have these ones, which are perfect. And I thought the these might be cool too to do um, wooden chopsticks. Okay, so what are we gonna do? So let's get a couple of these. And what color? That's the question. So we have I like blue. These are blue ones, and these red ones. I don't know. What do you guys think for the chopsticks? I have red. And I have gold, maybe gold. Gold might be good. Okay, gold. What sizes do we have? Okay, gold, 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 maybe. No, that one's a little broken. Okay, these are really old. I don't even know where. I think I got these from my friend Mine, who I used to, who used to live in Montreal, and she used to give me all her old jewelry stuff when she went away in the winter. So. There we see. Okay, so what do you guys think? I've got blue, I've got gold, I've got red, and then we need to do like a little pot. I was thinking it might be fun to do the Chinese character on the pot, but I'm not sure. And I haven't quite decided how we're gonna do this. 
So let me get some wire. Uh, 20 gauge. There's some 20 uh, to do the bowl. And then we can go from there. So let's do this. Da, 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 da. Perfecto. So we'll take about 12 inches of the 20 gauge wire. Mm -hmm. And here. And why do we start with the bowl? Do we start with the chopsticks? That's a good question. Um, mm -hmm. I just have to think for a sec. Like if we did the bowl, where would we finish? We could maybe do a little design or something on the bowl. Because um, I, I would do that character but I don't know how easy it would be to do that I can try it because usually I do it with a double wire but sometimes I do it with the single wire what if we just tried it for a sec I can always backpedal and do something else so we can also clear clear the deck a bit here it's a little overwhelming when there's so much stuff okay so let's do this. So we're going to try to do the character. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to backpedal. So we're going to start here and go from, because this the, the, the bowl would start something like that. So if we go here, let me just think. Um, no, I'm going to start in the middle, I think. So let's just start here, here. Uh, not too big, so we're going to go back and out, out. This might, not, might or might not work. We're going to see. So we're going to go up and down and down and up. Uh, and oh, and I'm also thinking of doing another 10 day challenge, guys. I haven't done one of those in a hot minute. So look out for that for the 10 day challenge uh, coming up soon. I don't know when, but I'm going to try to do one that's not too, too complicated. And because um, it's just been a long time and I, I love doing those. I just haven't got around to it for a little while. So we've got this up here. Okay. And then. Um, sometimes like out a little bit like that so we could do like that to give it a little bit of depth because that's the thing with the Chinese characters they have a little bit more depth to them and this one can kind of go down and up okay we got, I don't know how well that works but I'm going to try that okay and I might not use this. I'm just playing around with it. So we're going to see. So we go down. Um, I haven't done tutorials for the Chinese characters, but I've definitely done them before. I've done custom orders for them on Etsy where um, I did a bookmark, I think, with some with some Chinese characters. But, uh, yeah, this is might or might not really work out. But I think I'll just, I probably won't use this, but I'm just going to keep it as is because if I was, I'll show you what, what I was thinking to do and we'll see if it actually works. So we're gonna bring that one up down and out. I probably should have done the same thing kind of here and then up here, here. And then this one is more like down, one up here, up and down and Oh, okay, so if we did something like this, it's going to end up being a little bit big. And then this one is more like that. And so this is sort of, that's the idea, something like that. It doesn't have the same depth that I might want it to have. But, and then if we did this, and how big is the wire? See, I don't know if it's the wire is going to be big enough because the idea would be to do the character and then 
bring it down into a bowl, but I'm not sure it's going to even work because that, yeah, it just looks like a little bit, looks a little bit messy. So I'm not going to actually use that, but this is like the idea of the Chinese character. So we're going to put that at the side and do something else for the bowl. And uh, maybe I'll just do a spiral or something different. So if we start here, we're just going to do the bowl shape. I think I'm going to start with the top being straight across. Okay, so we're going to do the top. And then we want to see for the chopsticks, it's a pretty good size. So let's just do that here. We want this one to be quite graphic. So I'm not going to give the bowl any depth. Whereas with this one, the bowl has a little bit more depth. So whoops, there goes the cord. So let's bring this one in a little bit. Okay. And then this one a little bit on this side. Okay, so we have that. And that looks good. So that looks good like that. And then we're going to bend that down a bit. I'm going to bend this one down here and across. So that's the base of the bowl. And then we want to the same, about the same here. Try to get it even. I'm going to bring that one here and then across. Yeah, it's hard with these designs to know where to start and stop the wire. So if we just bend this one out at the center, and then this one we want to bend around it. So we're going to take this, bend it around to finish it off. I think we're going to try that. We're going to see how it's going to work. Getting back to wire this weekend at the cottage. Nice. Edmonton. Woo, very nice. That's cool. Very fun. Edmonton's nice. We, I went to Edmonton a few years ago. My nephew got married in um, Chilliwack, and so we did a little detour to Edmonton. Now this one, I want to get them to the same level, so I don't know. How can I arrange that? Let's see. The bottom is going to be a little bit off, uh, but that's the idea. Yeah, it's not great, but this is the idea. So, so if you had... Yeah, the bottom's not quite what I had in mind because I was thinking you could do something like that, but then it's not quite what I had in mind. So let me just think of how I want to. I, don't, I really don't like the way that looks. So let's try again because it looks a little crooked on the bottom. So if I just go ahead and do the bottom first, okay, here, and... Here, I think I want the bottom. I really want this to be a clean design because it's very graphic. So we're going to bring that one out and that one out. And then we're going to curve it up. So there's the bottom of the bowl here. Okay. There. Up. And then we're going to bring it up here. Okay. Here, up. Yeah, and then this one up here. And we're going to have to pull it in a little bit more. There we go. Okay, that one. Good. And then this one too. There. Okay, perfect. Nice. And then. We're going to run into issues again, figuring out how to do this bowl. So if we get it here, bring that across, and then we're going to flip it and do the same thing here. Okay, and bring it across and see if it's even. See, I don't even want to, I don't even want to do any weird things to finish this. I kind of, I kind of want to just, leave these wires back and forth even because when you start to do something funny in the middle I don't know if it's going to work so let's just stop that for a sec I'm going to recycle some of this wire to do the to do the um, chopsticks if I can 
we'll see if this is the right size. And do we decide on the colors for the chopsticks? Maybe. Uh, the gold's not going to show up because it's um, the 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 ramen's going to be gold. So let's try the blue. Okay, and the idea would be to take this and this one bend it. Um, and bend that one back and this one okay Let's see if that one works okay okay so if we have those like that so that does look like chopsticks and uh i was going to put the loop in the middle but maybe we'll just try to do a loop might sit crookedly but i guess we could depending on how we want to center this, we could bring this to the back and do a loop at the backs here. And kind of don't want to twist it around. I think just for the sake of the design, you could wind it around so it's not going to flip up, but let's just assume the wire is going to stay in place, which it probably won't, but we're going to hope that it does. And we're going to clip that off. And so we're going to clip that guy off here. We can get in there with the flush cutters. There we go. Okay, so there's that. And, oh, Connie's here. Hi, Connie. Nice. Thanks for popping in. Awesome. So we've got this one and that. So that would be the, that would be the, um, uh, the chopsticks and I really don't want this showing much so I'm actually just going to bend that back because I really don't want to do a loop on the end I just want it to look really clean so that does look clean that would go there this is very stylized and then the idea would be we have I would think this kind of configuration would be better uh, but what I'm going to do is I don't know how well it's going to attach if it's already done like that. So I'm actually going to do it as I go. So let's get some more gold wire here. And you could just do a loop at the top. I thought about that, doing one here. Um, it would depend. I could still do that. We're just going to see how balanced it's going to be. I was thinking to make it more balanced in the middle. So we'll see if it's, if it, Looks like we can put it there and it's going to be balanced. I can definitely put it there for sure. So let's go ahead and start here and try to loop this wire in here and have it sit straight. So I think I will have to loop it in through a few times here. Okay, we're just going to bring that one in a little bit here and up. Maybe down here a little bit more. Okay. It's a little finicky to get these things started for sure. Okay. <laughs> oh yes, budget budget friendly meals. Yeah, that's for sure. There we go. There. Yeah, they're they're like a there's whole restaurants devoted to ramen noodles now. Like they're very popular. So there we go. So we have, especially in Montreal, there's tons of them. Okay, so there, if we have that here, I'm gonna worry about the ends after. I'm What I really wanna do is just to get my, just to get my um, noodles done. So I'm gonna clip that one end here. And I think I am going to maybe make them not too big. So why don't we use the smaller round nose pliers. Go here and here and here and here and here. So is that enough? We're going to see. We're going to see if that's enough. So if we did that one here and this one here, I could have made it, even made it bigger, but we're going to try that. I don't want too many noodles either. So we're going to try that, go around a couple of times 
maybe three times to be sure. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna go. Um, I kind of wish they were, mm -hmm. I could have made a hook to hold that in place, but yeah, because that way it would, it would look like they're all on top. Let me just try something. We're going to bring this one out. Okay. And we're going to bring this one. Uh, let's flatten this one a little bit. Uh, here they are. Okay. So we're going to flatten this one a little bit. Okay. I'm just going to bring that one here. So we've got that, and what we want to do is make a kind of, I don't know if it's going to work, but make like a kind of hook thing and bring it back and see how well it's going to work. And we're going to bring this one around. Okay, let's try that. Okay. Rather than loop it around, because we want it to be a little bit even. So we're going to hook that one on there. Okay, here. and see if that's going to work. And the other thing is you have to be careful because these bugle beads can break. So that's an issue. I'm not sure if I like that either. How, and that's really gonna slide around. So let's, let's not do that. Okay, I'm gonna just bring it around a few times. Okay, round two, three, okay. I like the concept, but it's going to be really hard to get it adjusted. So we're going to do this. And there is, okay. And then from there, I'm just going to bring the wire down. And hopefully it won't, uh, it'll work all right. Okay, so if we bring this one out this way. And then we're going to try to follow that line, what we did before. So we're going to go that way, that way, that way, and that way. Okay. It's not bad. Okay. And then we're going to bring this one through. So we'll bring this one through here. And then around maybe three times to be sure it's gonna stay. Okay, I'm gonna remove this now and remove some of those. Okay. And one more, I think, around here. And up. Okay, so we're gonna get those beside each other and pinch that in place and then pinch this up at an angle. Okay, so now we are going to pinch that over, 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 and up. Is that enough? No, uh, maybe over and up. Okay, and center your hands. Oh, okay, I'm going off the screen. Sorry about that. There we go. Um, okay, so we're gonna do this one again. Yeah, I have to be careful of that because that tends to be a hard to keep track of sometimes. So now we're going to do bring this one around a few times. One and two. Thanks for the reminder, uh, Amber. So we're gonna bring that one here. One, two, three. These aren't super even, but that's all right. So we're gonna bring this one down and down, and then we're gonna bring this one over, 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 and down. And then we'll just have to do one more. So here's that one. Yeah, they're not horribly even, but that's okay. So we're gonna do this here, and a couple more. And one more here, okay. So up here, and then we're going to pinch that in. 
and pinch it down. Oh, get in there, you. Yeah. Perfect. And then we just have to go up one more time. Perfect. Uh, yeah. So we're going to go over, 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 and up. Mirta, hello, hello. You're here. Awesome. Nice to see you. Such a beautiful sunny day in Montreal. I don't know how you guys are doing. So one. No. So this, so the trouble is now we don't want these to fall off, right? So this could just slide off. So we have to secure it. And maybe I should have left a loop on the end of that wire to secure it in place. But the other thing that we can do is because at this point we can't do much about that. I cut it off. We're going to, oh, you know what I could have done maybe is just brought this out and through and up, but now it's, is it too late to do that? Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to just bring it back at the back. Okay, we're going to bring it back to the back because we don't want it falling off. That's for sure. So we're going to, it will, it'll be hidden. So it's kind of awkward. It's at the back there, but we're going to take this and we're going to just wrap it around the intersection. So at least we're not going to lose that uh, thing. Okay, so it's secured. So at least we won't lose our chopsticks. So they look pretty good like that. And then the only thing now is how to deal with ending the bowl. So we've got that here. And we want to make sure these are pressed down here. And oops, let me just check what. Okay, that one's going to the front. So I guess you could maybe make a decorative thing with these ends of the wire. We could do that. So if we got that, we say we bring this one down. Okay. And and then this one too, we'd have to bring it down. Okay, so we've got those two wires that we just have to deal with. This is twisting, but if it's hanging, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, you can try to do it like a spirally thing. Let's see what let's see what happens. Okay, soggy. Four days of raining. Oh my goodness. And Mimi has a friend in Dubai, and it was flooding in Dubai, which is very unusual since it's a desert. But, um, yeah, so she called her friend to make sure she was okay, and she's fine, so that's good. I guess they closed all the schools and everything, which is uh, pretty extreme. But if, uh, if you're not used to that type of weather, it's understandable. Okay, so now we're going to just make a... Kind of like spiral that up, I guess. Just to, I'm just trying to make it a little more decorative. So if we have that one up here, and it's kind of hard to get in with these flat pliers, but maybe I'll just go in with the round ones. There we go. We're just going to make a like little decorative things. And then this one too, I guess we can bring that one down and just make it more... I really want it to look like eyeballs, but I have to do something with it. Okay, so uh, bring this one around. I can always add a wire too to make it a little prettier. But right now we're just doing like some little spirals. Okay. Yeah, you could. I guess you could add other wires if you wanted. I just want it to be simple. Um, this one I found got a little tight. So let's open this one up a little bit. It was a little long. So I'm going to open this one up. Okay. I'm actually going to clip that one. I found it a little too much wire. So oopsies. So we'll just clip this one and bring this one in here. Okay. Around here. 
Yeah, because we want like two spirals, but we don't want them to look like eyeballs. So if we have one lower than the other, it just makes it look a little bit decorative. It's kind of cool. It's kind of funky. And it's a way to finish the wires. So now what we have to do is figure out how well it hangs. So there's that. It's kind of cute. I do like it. So let us see if it's better to hang in the middle or at the end. That's the middle. And if it's at the end, we're just going to open that up. Mm -hmm. Okay, a little bit over. Let me just see. I think it has to be somewhere in between. So I'm going to clip it here and roll it over a little bit. Why with chopsticks? Um, I guess people eat ramen with chopsticks. I don't eat I don't eat ramen noodles, so I don't know, but I think people do. Okay. Okay, so there we're gonna put it to there and hopefully it's going to hang better. It's not quite at the end, but it's almost at the end. I think that's good. It's a little tilted to one side now, but we could probably bring this, if we bring the wires over a little bit, it should be all right. Okay, so there's there's the first one. That was a lot, but it's kind of cool. So let's try the actual bowl now. I never ate ramen. Yeah, I mean, I haven't eaten it since a long time ago. But uh, so that's that one. That's basically pretty well the same as what I had there, except we use the um, the bugle beads. You can just do it with wire as well if you want. You don't have to do the beads. And then we tried that. That didn't work too well, the Chinese character. I have done those characters before, but maybe what I'll do is I'll just, I'm not gonna use it. I was gonna use it in the bowl, but I can just finish it off since it's made already. We may as well just finish it off. Okay, and we went to the effort to make it. So we have the kind of Chinese character for noodles, which isn't really that well done, but let's just try to, okay. Okay, and then let's try this one. And I don't know if it's gonna work, but I was thinking it would be fun to use these for chopsticks, but otherwise we don't have to. And then for the eggs, I thought maybe even using some beads or something could be cool. So I have beads. And let us try to do a bowl. Maybe the black for the bowl. We got for the bowl. Uh, I do have some black wire here. And I don't know if I want to do the chopsticks sticks with these. I'm not sure. I might just do them with the same color as the bowl. I'm just going to play around with this for a second. So if we took this and we'd have, because we'd have to clip off the ends, I think. You can't really have a sharp end like that on a chopstick because you could have something like that. And then I don't know how long it would be, maybe like that. And then we'll get another one. And take that and and cut it and then I actually made sushi like sushi mats before with these kinds of toothpicks and they were really cute it was a craft I'd seen up somewhere so we have you could do something like that if you wanted to let's just start playing around we'll make the egg so if I get some um, what color wire maybe if I had white, it could be good. I don't know if I have some white. I have um, one of these ones. Sometimes I have white. Oh, here. I don't know if this is still good. I have some old white wire here. We can try that. So I'm going to cut off a piece of that. And... 
if we were to do the eggs, we would need, oops, those are stuck together. So if we need some yellow, yellow here, and we would have to wind it around. And make an egg. Let's see if we can make an egg. But then we want it like we want it narrow at the top, and then it would have to curve around. And then we'd have to bring it underneath again so it's narrow, and then curve it around the bottom. I mean, that, that kind of looks like an egg, like that. Pretty good. And then maybe we can do another one. Okay, I thought maybe two eggs would be fun. So we're gonna get this one. I'm gonna remove these. Okay, and so there's one egg, and then the other one we can just bring it around here. Hold that in place. And then this one, we just have to loop it around there and then maybe underneath so it's gonna be good. Okay, around here and then right under that. But then this part, we do want to get larger because the eggs, it's larger at one end. We'll bring it in and then maybe even one more because we want it kind of elongated. So we're gonna bring that one around. There we go. Okay, so kind of look like eyeballs, but that's okay. So those would be those would be our funny looking eggs. They're kind of cool. And then we need to do the bowl. So let's do the bowl. Let's start with maybe black. This black's a little bit stiff. I'm not quite sure why. And we could fill in the bowl too if we wanted to but maybe with a different uh, wire. And what if we, just thinking here, so we took this and brought that up, and then this one up here, and we have to think of like what's gonna fit in the bowl, right? So there's that, and Maybe we can just finish it on one side and then cover the end. So if we take this here, I'm going to bring it down into a curve like that. And I mean, these could be the chopsticks. I thought about doing this type of chopsticks, but what if we just did it with wire? So if we bring this one down, Hmm, let me just think. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, what if we did a 3D bowl around here? Okay, and then brought this one down again. I might start this over. I might need a bigger wire. So we're going to bring this one around. And then we would bring this one around, I guess. So if we brought that one around and that one around, let me just think. Mm -hmm. But what if we brought this one here? I'm just thinking out loud. I'll probably change this because this could be a chopstick here. And Mm, okay, so let's I'm gonna try something. I'm just going to finish this one here. And we're going to clip that flush. Remember last time I clipped the leg off the sandwich? That wasn't fun. Reminds me of a relaxed version of a herringbone wrap. Herringbone wrap. Um... Just thinking, oh, herringbone wrap. Okay, sorry, I blanked on what that was. 
with the with the egg you mean oh yeah you're right yeah yeah it is kind of remind a little bit reminiscent of that okay so here's would could be the bowl could be and then if we just had that down like this this could be a chopstick and then we could bring it up for the other top side let's just leave it like that for now because we've already started with it and then if we we might have to do it bigger that's my only thing so if we put the eggs in here i'm thinking it might have to be a little bit bigger to put all the details in Okay, let me just make a slightly bigger one and I might want to have more wire anyway. Okay. Okay, so let's try this again. We are planning to finish one of the wires there. So what we want to do is, let me just think. Okay, so this side is going to be shorter. This side will be longer. Is that this side straight across I guess or curved we'll curve it a bit and then up like that okay so if we do that bring that one around bring that one around we're going to make it a little bit bigger than this one okay but I hope it's good I'm hoping to have enough wire now so if we brought that one across might not have enough wire so if we brought this one across here Okay, should have measured it. And then if we brought that one across here and then around here, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe you could just like go really kind of abstract with it if you want. Because you just, you really want that bit of the of thing to be bigger. So how, how much was that? That was like three inches. I think I'm going to do another one and measure that four inches. I can reuse, don't worry, I'm not wasting wire. I can reuse, reuse those wraps. So what if we made sure this bend was longer than that one? So maybe do more like a five inch thing. Okay. Okay. So we're going to try that and then we're going to curve this out and up uh, we're going to curve that out here and that one out here. Okay, it's going to be a little bigger than this. And then maybe a little, okay, like that and like that. Okay. And then this one, we're going to make it a little bit taller. There we go. Okay, let's try to do that. And really curve it around. And then this one. There we go. I think we have a little bit more wire to work with. So the idea is you want more bowl visible. Okay, we're going to make it more. I don't know if you guys know about like perspective and drawing. We just want more bowl showing. So now we're going to take this and bend it over. Okay, we're going to try that. And then we're going to clip that. Whoop. No! Ah, oh, I did it again. Oh, man. Okay. This is not our lucky day. Okay, we're going to try that again. I cut right through the wires. No fixing that one. I'm just going to start over. Okay, we're going to try that again. So this might be a good time for you guys to take a break and make a tea or a coffee or for the washroom because I am obviously not doing well today. So we're gonna take this about five inches, okay? And this one around and that one, it was so good. Okay, that one that way. And then this one, okay, is that? We're gonna bring that one back. Oops is right. There we go, okay. So that's, yeah, sometimes it's not worth it to fix things. Like the last time with the sandwich, I fixed it because it would have taken me a long time to restart it. But this one's not too bad. So we're just going to do it like this. And 
maybe out a little more and around. Okay, so as I was saying before, we want to exaggerate the bowl so you can see more stuff in it. So we've exaggerated the bowl. We're going to bring this one in, wrap it around, and we are going to clip it, and we are not going to cut through all the wires. Okay, there we go. Perfect. I have to take my glasses off for that. So there we have that. And then for this one, we want to do the we want to do the chopsticks, but why don't we attach the eggs first and then we're going to do the chopsticks. So let's take the, this one, attach the egg here, and it's okay if it's going over the side a little bit. That's okay. We're going to bring that one around here. And then this way, it helps secure the side of the bowl. Okay, and I'm going to scrap the idea of doing the chopsticks out of wood because I want this one to be all wire. Well, with a couple of beads. Okay, so let's cut that, trim that little end. Okay, so we've got the eggs here and we can add another one to that side, but maybe we wanna do, let's do our ramen, get our ramen noodles in there. So what are we going to use? So we have, I think I'm gonna use the squiggly ones for that. Those are the ones that we coiled and stretched apart. These ones are more flat, which you can use more for something like that idea. That was made with the crinkle tool. And if you guys remember, we did that earlier. And then this one, I, I did a coil, but stretched it out a little too much. So I can reuse those bits for something else. And now we're going to do the noodles. And then we could put the other toppings in there. But let's just start with the noodles. So now we're going to attach the noodles in here. There we go. I'm still waiting to hear from the garage. So if I get a call, I might have to answer the phone, but that's okay. okay we've got that and clip here. And then from here, we just want to I guess squiggle in those noodles. I didn't really think about how I'm going to do it, but I think we can just squiggle them in. What happens if we do a chaos wrap with the coil? We can def definitely do that. Okay, we can definitely do that and bring that one over to attach it now and then, bring it through. Now, you don't have to overdo it with the noodles, but you will need enough so it looks like the ramen. And I can attach it more after, but for now, we're just going to, let's move the eggs out of the way. And we're just going to try to fill in the space with the noodles. So we're gonna go right to one side, right back. It's okay if they go over the bowl a little bit too. Around, okay, and around. It's kind of cool. I like it. We're going to go like that. And then maybe we can do another little round of noodles here. And we can just finish them off. Okay, so I'm going to take this, bring the end around. Okay. I think that's good. Let's, where's this one? Maybe I want that a little more open, I think. We can bring that one up here, maybe. Yeah, okay. Okay, so let's just bring this one down here. Give it a clip without clipping through everything. Okay, perfecto. Okay, so now we have the noodles. We have the eggs. We need to attach the egg in another spot. So maybe we can, maybe the, we need a little more space for the eggs. Why don't we smush those over a little bit? Okay, we're gonna smush the noodles over a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's cool. And then we're gonna attach the egg on this side. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and attach them. I'm going to add some greenery 
But for now, let's just go ahead and attach this one. Perfect. Okay, so there, that's cool, guys. There's some noodles and some eggs. How's that? Pretty good. Now, let's add a bit of greenery. So we're going to get our, by the dozen, 20 gauge wire. Wish I had this last week when I made the pizza. Oh, or did I have it? I don't remember. Maybe I had it. Did I have this last week? I forget. Maybe I did. So there we go. Out freaking standing. Whoa, I like that comment. Awesome. So here is the colors. So let's do some greenery. We're going to get some waya, green waya. This is 22 gauge. And we are going to do, I thought it would be fun to do some broccoli too. And we're going to do a bit of like lettuce -y type stuff. So, okay. I did use it last week. Okay, cool. This, the, the by the dozen, eh? Nice. I couldn't remember if I had opened it last week or not. So here we're going to take a little piece of the green wire. Actually, let's take a larger piece because maybe we can make the broccoli with the same wire. So I would say that's about 15, 12 to 15 inches. And we are going to make some squigglies and do a bit of lettuce type thing. So we can just, I could do it the same way we do that, or yeah, we could do it that way. Let me see if I have the, how did I get the piece of wire that I, that I wound it on? I can get another one. Okay. There we go. Let's get another piece of the. 16 gauge wire. I'm going to move this sketch over a little bit. Move those out of the way. Okay. And we are going to take this uh, to do some lettuce type stuff. Let's try this. We're going to just do this a little bit and see if it's going to be easier. Otherwise, we can just go back and forth with our with our round pliers, but I'm just going to bring it in a little bit, okay, a little bit like that. Okay. And then open it, and then we can just give it a little stretch and see how it looks. Okay. Yeah, just a little bit like that. Perfecto, thank you. Okay, so now if we just do a little bit of super bright green but it's all right it's, we want this to kind of look like I guess lettuce or something but it, we don't it doesn't have to be regular looking because it can be kind of scrunchy now let's attach the greenery over here and we're going to attach one side here I'll just take that and uh Make sure I'm staying on camera. Mm -hmm. Get that one through there. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we're just going to attach it in one spot. Be careful when we cut it. And that becomes some greenery to one side. It's a little on the dark side for the green, but it's all right. I think it's going to show up. So we're going to just pinch that in a little bit. 22 gauge is great for this. Uh, you can get away with 24. It's a little thinner. Uh, 20 would be a little too hard to work with. It would be really thick. So now this one's a little straight here. I'll just give it a little, a little tweak. Okay, so there's some greenery. And then we want to plus one me on the broccoli. Okay, you like broccoli? I love broccoli. Broccoli is so good. I love broccoli, with just steamed broccoli with a bit of um, grated cheese. It's yummy. I should eat that more often. Okay, so now we're going to bring this one around. And so that's supposed to be more like a some kind of lettuce-y type thing. But I do, I do want to make actual broccoli if I can. So this is, yeah, this is going to be kind of a lettuce type thing. 
which is, you know, a little random. But for the broccoli, we can maybe make it a little tighter. We can make the, the top part a little tighter. So what if we do, got some scrap of 20 gauge wire? And this I'm gonna deal with after. So for the broccoli, we can just try to do a more like a little actual coil thing with the 20 gauge wire. And we're gonna see if that's gonna work. Okay. We can always pull it back if we have to. Pasta, broccoli, and cheese, mmm, yummy. Yummy. There we go. So we're gonna go around and around. Yeah, I'm looking for more dinner ideas. We've kind of, I don't like to cook, but um, I get sick of buying, you know, frozen fish and frozen chicken and I eat a lot of salad, but um, I'm, I don't enjoy cooking and I'm not very creative in the kitchen. So if anybody has any ideas for a quick meals that are, don't involve a lot of cooking, bring them, bring them my way. So now if we're trying to make a little broccoli thing, sort of like a little broccoli thing, I guess you could just really like really wind it in because you want to fill in that area in the middle. Or what if I it's going to split these with my fingernail, you can split those somehow other how. Uh, so what if we just brought this in and brought this down and that could kind of be like a little, it definitely looks like broccoli. Okay. I, I don't think it has to be perfect, but this is, so this is like one little, could be a broccoli thing. I'm just trying to fill in that area a little bit more, maybe one more little round of wire. Okay. I just want to fill it in a little bit. So here's, could be a little broccoli thing. Oh, if we want that in the back, just flip it. Yeah, because that thing looks kind of funny. So I just flipped it to the back. That little spiral didn't quite fit. Okay, so let's just do that. Uh-huh. Okay, how's that? Uh, that's not too bad. Okay. And then I don't know if we'd want to wind it around there to make the stem or just bring it straight down maybe. Okay, so if that's a broccoli... That's a funny looking broccoli. Oof, I'm not sure I like that. I'm gonna actually pull that back. I'm gonna restart the broccoli. So we're gonna just take that. So this will be, the lettuce is good or whatever that is, kale. I don't know, it could be kale. Okay, so we're gonna pinch that in. Mm-hmm, get in there, yeah. Okay, so there's, there's the greenery. Let's try to do broccoli separately. I'm not happy with how that turned out. So I'm gonna try the broccoli again. Eggs for lunch, hmm, nice. Yeah, I always have salad for lunch, uh, like, a, like a really intense cabbage salad, cabbage and celery and carrots and broccoli, all raw though. So that's my lunch. Lunch is covered, it's just dinner that I never know what to eat because I get tired of eating the same thing over and over again. So we're gonna do that and clip that here, here and so how many rounds did we do? Maybe about 12 or something. Let's see if we can get this to work. So what I did now is I just have the the coil to one side here. And if we take that off, let's see if we can just make it look more like a broccoli. We're gonna bring this one around and just wind it around. Yeah, we just need it more like coily. See, so I should have maybe left a bit of an end on it. I'm pinching that in a little bit more. Yeah, maybe should have left a, more of an end. Push that underneath. So, I mean, kind of looks like broccoli, but we can. Mm -hmm. What about if we? Mm -hmm. 
just because it's going to be really hard to hold in place. Maybe I'll just, I'll leave that one as like that for now. And then I'm going to do another one maybe over here. I don't know how long the stems need to be. And then I will coil this one again, but I'll have an end on it. So it might work better. We're going to try it. So we're going to do this one, do a little a coil. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, maybe 12, 13, 14. Let's try that. Okay, so there we go. So we have this other one, which might be too big now. But if we went around, coil this one around here. There we go. Okay, so there, uh, that looks better when you have a bit of a coil going. Okay, the other one I trimmed. So, but that's the idea. You have like two little broccolis there. And let's see if we can get them to sit nicely over here. Maybe bring this one down. What if we brought this down, wound it around this part? Okay, so if we wound it in the intersection of the two broccolis, okay, so we have that. That's cool. That actually looks like broccoli. So there we've wound that in the middle and we want to stick it in here. Oh, that's so cool. So maybe we'll bring it more down because then we could vary the green a little bit. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so now we need to get it to stay there. Uh, it's pretty cool. I think I'll just maybe wind it around the bowl to hold it in place. So if we bring that, bring it around, bring it through around here. <coughs> so if we just wind it through once, but then if we wind it on the upper part of the bowl, it's probably going to stay in place better. So how much did I wind it there? Okay. So just bring it here. I'm going to bring it through and wind it back up. Yeah, let's just wind it back up here. Okay, so we've got that. And then if we have it wound in two places, it's going to hold better. Otherwise, it'll flip everywhere. So that's the key. Okay. There we go. Perfect. And you can always just, I don't know, if you want to have it attached to this broccoli, you can just wind it underneath the, the florets. Okay, Heather, do not cut through the wire. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So broccoli is there sticking outside the bowl. A little bit much but that's okay so there's broccoli eggs now how about some carrots do we have orange we have orange i really should get some cool broccoli thank you thanks guys so here's some orange uh what do we do for our drawing oh i just said carrots that's about it so let's do carrots and then you guys let me know if we need something else i think sometimes they have corn and stuff like that but i guess you could add you could do anything you want but we're going to keep it simple. So let's do some carrots. How are we going to do the carrots? I guess you could do red peppers. You can do all kinds of things, whatever you want. I think they stick everything in ramen bowls. Everything but the kitchen sink. Okay, so what about if we just did a bunch of back and forth for the carrots? Um... Hmm. What if they're different sizes? Some are shorter, some are longer. What if they're not all perfect? Like carrots aren't perfect anyway, so some are lower. Okay, so what if we had a bunch of carrots like that? I don't know if those are proper looking carrots, but they're not too bad. Um, we want to make a nice composition. So what I'm going to do is actually bring this one back up. And we will stick that one here, maybe here, for the carrots, maybe over one. Mm -hmm. There, maybe. Okay. okay, what else can we put in there? I'm not sure if that's in the right, we really want it to sit in the right place. What if it's over here? I think that's pretty good over here too. 
That one will go behind, I guess, because that's sticking out here. But we do want we do want it down a little bit. Yeah, we don't want it too. Yeah, we do want it to actually sit over the noodles. So what if we like we had one coming in here, one coming out that way. So if we do that one, maybe down here. We want to just figure out where's the best place to place them. And then what if we brought this one through here? Okay. Uh-huh. And you know, it does it's very stylized. So I think it's okay. We just have to make sure it sits properly. Push it down a little bit. So we brought that there. And this one would be up here. I think it's cool. Okay. I'm gonna bring that one down here. Because we don't really want it flipping. Okay, so we can trim that one. And then this one, I think we can just trim it too because it doesn't look like it's flipping. It's it's well, I think it's well positioned there. Let me just see if it's turned around enough. Yeah, that should be good. And then this one, we are going to split these carrots a bit. Okay, there. There we go. We can, you can bend them a bit if you want them more interesting, a little bit. I mean, carrots should be pretty straight though, I guess. Okay. Okay. So we have carrots, broccoli, we have that curly stuff. And then let's do the chopsticks and we can always add something else if we want to. So I'm going to bring this one back here to the back. Okay. And then we're going to bend this, one of these out on an angle, maybe around here. We can always adjust it. And then we wanna bring it down to form the chopstick. So how big does it have to be about like that, I guess? Because if we could bring it down here. Mm -hmm. Now imagine if you did wanna do the bugle bead, that would be that would be a good place to do it too. You could definitely do like a bugle bead here. Like that looks pretty cool. Let's get two of them to see how it looks. So yeah, if you did want to do the bugle beads, that's like with the red. And then there's like with the gold. I don't know if I have black ones. It would be the, the gold ones. They don't show up so well, but you can see the possibilities with this and what else do I have? I have dark blue. I don't really have, I don't really have a black. I used to have black, but you can also see with the black, with the dark blue, right? I don't even know if it fits on this wire. We're going to see. I don't think it does. So that's an, that's an issue. Forget that. It does not fit. Hey, we have a robin in our front yard. Hi, guy. He's looking at me. Hi, Robin. Hello. He's so cute. And we have a bunny in the back. Sorry, I got distracted. Okay, so now let's just do this super simple. So if we have that, and then we need the other chopstick. So if we have that, and I kind of just want them. Hmm. Let me just think. Uh. Because mm -hmm. I could just do them out at an angle too. Are they going to stay in place? They should. So maybe we'll bend this. I could bend it back if this doesn't work. But if we just do that. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of them poking into the ramen. So let me just bend this a little bit longer than what I would think I would need. So if we do this, but... Let's stick it in the noodles and hopefully that's going to help them stay. Like if I just, here, I have to take my glasses off. So we're going to 
maybe pull up one of these ones and then stick it through. That That's going to be better because then it looks like it's actually like in the noodles type of thing. I think that looks good. So yeah, it's kind of in the noodles. Better would be maybe to do one above and one below. Hmm. Can I do that? I might be able to. Mm, I don't want to destroy this, but yeah, I think it might be better to do it that way. If we pull one down, okay. Yeah. There we go. Oh, it's getting bent, but there we go. Okay. I'm like stringing it through there, so I can fix that. I got these nylon jaw pliers. So I've actually like I could have coiled some ramen around it after trying to get this as straight as possible. Got a little destroyed. Okay, so now, yeah, so I actually put the noodle through the through, through the chopstick. I think it's better. Okay, and that one there. So it's, I think that's good. So it's just, it looks like we're kind of grabbing the noodle with the chopstick here. Straighten it out a little more. Okay, so there we go. So we have, oh, this looks good. So we might have to bring some more noodles down here. We got a little pushed over. Okay, we're gonna push some of those over again. Yeah, there we go, just to get them in the right place. Okay, so there is, yeah, that looks good. Look at that. And then we have to get, make a loop at the top. Yes, yes, I will post a photo in the community section, 100%. And now, so I think if we just do, we don't even have to do a loop. If I do like a little loop like that, we can throw a jump ring in there or something, and then it won't destroy the design. So let's just measure how long that one was and then how long that one was and we're going to go back okay then doesn't it look a little more clean and then that way you can still throw a jump ring in there and it won't destroy the design so then we just have to end the wire on the bowl okay we're going to end the wire on the bowl so we're going to take this here and we are going to bend the wire I think Jamie's going to like this she asked for the ramen so Shout out to Jamie for asking for ramen noodles because I would not have ever thought of that. Okay, so now we're going to put this one through, stick it in through the bowl to secure it here. Yeah, and I'll add this to the templates because I, I did the food templates in my Etsy shop and uh, I'll add the ramen to it. So it'll all be included with the photo and everything. So if you guys want to make them and need the template, you can get those templates in the Etsy DIY shop and um, use the coupon code SAVE25. That's capital S-A-V-E, number two, number five. And you can save 25% when you uh, uh, buy, um, I was going to say it in French, acheter, when you buy five or more templates or eBooks in my shop. So that would be great. Uh, we appreciate that. Okay, so now look at that. I am slightly flabbergasted. I did not know it was going to work. So there we go. Now we can just go ahead and pinch in some of these noodles a little more if we need to. You could add more noodles. You could have put more noodles if you wanted, but you don't want to overdo it either. Like there's a nice balance there. So guys, and it's, I don't mind that it's kind of wobbly, the, the bowl, you know, it's the perspective shows you sort of the middle, the inside of the bowl. I'm just moving this one up a little bit. I'm going to pinch the sides of the white. If you want, you could even put a dab of, I'm actually slightly stripping this wire right now as I pinch it. This is like an older, cheaper wire that I had, but you can put a dab of black nail polish on that wire and then you won't even see that part. I might do that. 
And there is the random bowl. So let's see what we did today. Good enough to eat. Yum, yum. Okay, so let's see what we did. We did. I'll bring this up so can, I can hold it. We did the ramen bowl. And I will put nice pictures in the Wire Makers Club and the community section. We did the Chinese character, which I don't think I'm going to photograph that one because it's not great. It's okay. And then we did... The stylized ramen bowl with the bugle beads, which is super cute. So let me know which ones you guys like, your favorite. I will post a picture in the community section. Uh, thank you, everybody, for hopping on. I am going to flip the screen so I could say bye-bye. We're going to do this. Mm -hmm. There we go. Good, good. So thank you guys so much for hopping on. And um, thank you, Amber, always for moderating the chat and for doing the timestamps. Uh, there will be timestamps in the description of the video in the next couple of days. Uh, look out for that fancy bracelet tutorial coming on um, Saturday. That was a request from Shannon. So I did the, cl the clasp on the Tip Tuesday and the bracelet, really cool bracelet made with square wire and half round wire. That's going to be on Saturdays. So I will post pictures of these in the Wire Makers Club and in the community section. Thank you guys for your amazing feedback and your suggestions. Uh, have a great supper. Everybody's hungry now. And let me know in the comments what you had for supper. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.